God in gladness say how great his name give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds hallelujah hallelujah he came among his people he dwelt among the poor he chose of all the wicked the humble to be friends to God and let us say how great his name give thanks to him for his marvelous deeds hallelujah Good morning and welcome once again to take part in the special novena. Various petitions that we have received are as follows: Cheryl from Goa Valley, Bertha Lorenzo from Kujira Santa Cruz, Celine Vaz UK, Sonia Simoyes Sioli, Plevan Estrasio Caranzale, and maybe that many others wanted to send. but because of the storm our lines were not working but you all are in our minds and our hearts as we are for this eucharistic banquet the sacrifice and we will place all these intentions at the tomb of venerable father agnello in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters a warm welcome to celebrate and partake in this eucharistic celebration from wherever you are from this shrine to your homes we greet you in affection on this day when we pray for each other in today's gospel Jesus prays for us for his disciples and in a very special way for himself so it is a great consolation and it gives us a great confidence that Jesus remembers us let us bring ourselves to this eucharistic celebration and let us offer a prayer for the needy and the poor especially let us remember the difficult times we are living in the times of confusion and chaos when we are experiencing isolation and the loss of our loved ones due to this pandemic and the aftermath of this cyclone talk day let us pray for each other and be mindful of our sins our offenses and our limitations as we prepare ourselves to celebrate in this eucharistic celebration let us together say i confess to, to almighty god, god and, and to you, my brothers and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in, in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints And, and you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for me, for me to the lord, lord our, our god. god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Grant we pray almighty and merciful God that the holy spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. reading from the acts of the apostles 
In those days, from Miletus, Paul to send to Ephesus, and call the elders of the church to come to him. And when they came to him, he said to them, You yourselves know how I lived among you the whole time from the first day that I set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears and with trials that happened to me through the plots of the Jews. How I did not shrink from declaring to you anything that was profitable and teaching you in public and from the house to house, testifying both to Jews and to Greeks of repentance towards God and of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I am going to Jerusalem, constrained by the Spirit, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and afflictions await me. But I do not account my life of any value nor a precious to myself. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. And now, behold, I know that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will see my face again. Therefore, I testify to you this day that I am innocent of the blood of all, for I do not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, you kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Kindly repeat. You, you kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the, the earth, earth sing, sing to God. You pour down, O God, a generous rain. When your people languished, you restored their inheritance. It was there that your flock began to dwell. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the poor. Response. You kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the earth, earth sing, sing to God. Day after day, may the Lord be blessed. He bears our burdens. God is our Savior. This God of us is our God who saves. The Lord our God provides an escape from death. Response. You, you kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the, the earth, earth sing, sing to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Glorify the Lord, glorify the Lord, glorify the Lord with me. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. I sought the Lord and He answered me From all my terrors He set me free Join with me and bless His holy name Glorify the Lord, glorify the Lord Glorify the Lord with me Hallelujah, Hallelujah Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. 
O Lord. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence, with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know the truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it is a very common sight in our churches, at our shrines, or at our grottos, or at any holy place, be it chapels, or any other spiritual place that we visit, to see candles being lit. What do these candles that are burning or lit in our churches, grottos or shrine remind us of? What comes first to our mind? To me, these lighted candles represent the prayer of someone or someone praying for the other. And that's why it is a very heartening sight in our churches and in holy places to see many candles being lighted all the time. So it reminds us that there was somebody here praying for themselves, for himself or for herself, and somebody else was also remembered in their prayers. What a beautiful thought to be remembered by somebody in their prayers. The greatest service we can do for somebody else is not only to pray for ourselves, but to pray for someone else. As we reflect on the world events that is shaping the world today, as we look around and see devastation, destruction, isolation, separation and loss that we are undergoing and experiencing deep down in our lives, we see more than yesterday there is a greater need for prayer. Prayer for ourselves, prayer for the world, and prayer for our neighbor, prayer for each other. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel passage, Jesus prays for himself. He prays for his disciples. 
and he remembers in those when he prays for his disciples he remembers even us his prayer includes even us because jesus knew that we live in a hostile world that would not be so open to the preaching and to witnessing of his gospel jesus when we reflect on the person of jesus in all the four gospels jesus is presented to us as a man of prayer prayer was central to the life of jesus it was intrinsic to his nature when he did good deeds when he extended generosity when he experienced loneliness pain and abandonment jesus we drew in silence we are told just to pray just to be connected to his father but we are also told in this four gospels that jesus not only drew his power from prayer for himself but jesus kept in prayer jesus prayed for the disciples and for all the people who he was administering in love at the wedding at cana when he manufactured or he gave them new wine jesus asked the blessing of his heavenly father and gave this blessed couple this lovely miracle to behold whenever he started something very important in the father's vineyard he started it with prayer and in this manner my dear brothers and sisters we find that jesus prayed not only for himself but he prayed for his disciples and that included all of us today's readings both the first reading and the second reading reminds us to be people filled in prayer to make prayer intrinsic and central to our lives when we come to this eucharistic celebration today let us be mindful that the world needs our prayers there is a lot of power in the intercessory prayer and in the prayer of petition today as we are experiencing our own troubles our own sorrow and our own difficulties our own financial burden or maybe a difficulty in our relationships let us take an opportunity to pray for somebody else the second thing for us today to take home and to reflect upon is jesus is expressing to his father heavenly father the joy of feeling a great sense of accomplishment after having completed his mission here on earth as we will come to an end of our earthly journey we must be filled with the same kind of contentment and pride that we to have accomplished the mission that was entrusted to us by the heavenly father through our baptism let us pray for this gifts in this eucharistic celebration and pray in a very powerful way through the intercession of venerable father agnello that the peace of the lord that our prayers may be answered in our homes and our families and lord's mercy his consolation may come to our life today wherever we are at this moment amen Ooh.
sacrifice may be acceptable by God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept O Lord the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devoutedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. May we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord of, of hosts, host, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray in confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the, power, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. Wherever we are. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called today to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that I should, should end under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word Lord, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer to receive communion spiritually my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as already being there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Special Novena Prayer. Loving and merciful God, you always desire our well-being. Today the whole world is in the grip of fear. We grieve for our dear departed in this pandemic and those suffering at present. You touch them with your healing power. We do not know what the future holds for us, yet we certainly know who holds our future. Loving Father, in these challenging times, our faith is being tested. We humbly pray that our faith may not fail and our love for you alone be strengthened. We beg of you to calm this pandemic storm, dispel away our fear and our anxiety, and reinstill peace and healing. Grant us your grace to deepen our faith in your loving providence and enrich us with genuine concern, love and care for one another. Inspire our leaders to discern and choose wisely what is good for the people. Bless all our medical staff and all others who serve with dedication and love. We ask this to our loving mother, our lady of Pilar, and our patrons, St. Francis Xavier, St. Joseph Vaz, and our great intercessor, Venerable Father Agnello. Prayer for the canonization. O God of infinite mercy, we humbly prostrate at your feet. We beg of you with wholehearted trust that it will be your holy will, and if it serves our salvation, grant Venerable Agnello the honors of the altar to the solemn declaration of our provident Mother, the Church. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve our neighbor. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The floods our native country's nigh The lonely light that reached the heavenly high Her children's twins to strive with man and man O oh, Father of Nell, angels from above Thy clients call thee with the stand alive Without you was a heart protector God With that kind heart so so wide. Oh, Father of Nell, angel from above, thy clients call thee with a stand of love. Thou to us a heart protector, God, with that kind heart so willing and so wide.